everyone at Zach with Palantir Research. Off the backs of AIPCon's excitement the very next day, we get a huge analyst highest targets and also more shares are bought up by Kathy Wood's ARC. So really quick on ARC first, she bought 20k shares yesterday during the trading day that AIP took place. Earlier in the week, too, before AIPCon on March 5, she bought 79,000 shares. So these aren't the biggest purchases, of course, from her in the history. But even with the run-up, it sounds like with more confirmation from the Titan News as well as AIPCon, she's interested in building a more larger position, even if it's at a higher premium. So we'll see if this works out for her. Then next, we've got Dan Ives, one of the biggest pound tier bulls. Earlier in the week, we saw that Bank of America's price target increased to $28 from Mariana, who's also a big bull. But Dan Ives today really focuses on touting pound tier as the messy of AI as well. After AIP Con, they've become incrementally more bullish as they believe the AIP Foundation is becoming more viewed by many U.S. enterprises as the launching pad of AI use cases. And with that, he raised his already $30 price target to $35. And remember, whenever Dan Ives is asked about these price targets and timeframes, he does always note it's about one to two years for him. But an increase of this magnitude is still pretty big for those who have watched Palantir over time, but still focus on that 20% growth and $50 billion market cap. So I'll let you guys be the judge of that premium you believe Palantir deserves. Of course, it's going to cause some contention. But I wouldn't be surprised if his quote on launching pad of AI use cases is in relation to the end of AIP Con. In my long video, video summary yesterday, you can check it out if you'd like, I pointed out my favorite part of the whole event, which is them showing off how a client can use a whiteboard picture that they just draw up, generate a use case idea in relation to their data, then compare it to other use cases already built out from other Palantir partners, and then applying it back to those outside organizations that they did to their own with their own data now. Now, I'm not saying it'll be perfect and more details will come out over time, but it's definitely not a fake demonstration considering they announced the access is there for the attendees of AIPCon. So they are literally being a launchpad for every single organization, which actually compounds their network effect possibilities considering as more folks build use cases and share them, the easier it is for new folks to get experience in building use cases, which in turn creates more use cases to share. It's a self-feeding loop. Now, if it actually comes out that way, we'll see, but I believe a lot of people can see the possibility in this shared marketplace exchange, but for Palantir's use cases. But what are your thoughts on the new price target here and Dan Ives' reasoning? Let me know below, and I'll see you in the next video.